ATO. So here we are on the fourth hole. I'm just going to grab my driver. I was actually going to hit iron off the tee, or I was going to hit something short because uh, the guys in front were taking their time, but they've uh, they've quickly moved forward. So uh, yeah, membership like less than a thousand bucks, seven day membership. Um, they said a, a, a food levy. So yeah, lots of lots of good stuff. Lots of really good stuff. In the area is probably the best track around uh, in, in the area for sure. So basically a 300 meter hole. Down Breeds could probably drive it, but we shall see. Well, it's hit good and it's right at it. I don't know if it's gonna get there though. It took a kick to the right, so it was basically on the, uh, I'll see if I can zoom in and find it. See if I can zoom in and find it because it's taken a slight right kick, which is a good thing because, is that it just at the short front there? That could well be it. Yeah, because it was heading straight at that bunker there that they're working on and took a bit of a kick right. So I'm going to take that shot. All right, making sure that's all on. So yeah, it's, it's quite a nice little unit. Anyway, if anybody wants to know what it is, it's the DJI Mic 2. Um, there's a receiver on the camera connected through a 3.5 mil into the uh, into the camera itself so uh, it good works the same but I think what I will do because this is heavy ish and feels quite weird swinging around in my shirt there's actually a 3.5 mil jack on there as well and you could actually use that as uh, a transmitter so the receivers on the camera and so basically you'd have that in your pocket and then have a little lav mic pop up which I might do just because it'll be in my pocket and it'll just feel sort of normal this feels a bit funny uh, in my swing a little bit but um, uh, literally yeah I've hit that 290 what 280 something like that again a bit down breeze so you know it, it, it'll definitely do um, I've got new wedges actually we'll see how they go so I, so I went some SM9s um, for no real reason just so I got two sets of wedges, just different bounces, basically. So in the Mizunos, I've got high bounce 54, actually the other way, low bounce 54, high bounce 58. Here I've got lower bounce 58, high bounce 54. So just mucking around, seeing what, seeing what works and what doesn't. And um, maybe a little bit of practice would, uh, would certainly help all of this as well. So, you know, a bit more practice would be good. Go on in. Get in, get in, get off. All right, so these tidies are good too. But anyway, it'll be interesting to see as I do a bit more testing, we'll say between the 58.8 compared to the 58.12. Uh, basically the same sort of grinds, but this is lower bounce, but a wider sole. I don't know, we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, if that's got anything to do with it, I'm gonna go pick that one up and move on to the next hole. That's, uh, that's definitely a, nice little golf shot pick it up thanks cheers cool bananas where are we there's their ball um oh we're on five but yeah that was like a, a foot little tap in it's um like i said the i haven't got all the i haven't got all the sm9s just yet so i got 40 uh 46 50 54 58 uh and basically the 46 you now it's 46 in the mizuno uh, Project X65, same, same, same. Um, I've done the same thing in the 46 and 50. And then in the 54, 58, I've gone to just the S200, the normal S200. Because I, the, I mean, these feel pretty stiff in the in the wedges anyway. So I probably shouldn't, and maybe I should have gone to 6.0, but I'm crap with wedges, so I'm trying anything. I've um, got 125 meters. A bit down breeze, I think the pin's up the back, uh, and I don't remember if there's a little bit of a sort of a, a, a bowl at the back there, so that will be interesting. Uh, yeah, I've got a wedge, I've got a 46 degree. So hopefully, hopefully that's the right club. Well, I, it, it should be, so I hit this about 120, 120-ish, maybe just over 120, so... I haven't really flushed one just yet, so maybe this is the time and not a full, you know, not a full out swing. Well, it's certainly good and it's right, oh, just right of it. Oh, it bounced and kicked left. 
well, I reckon I'm going to call that good without seeing it. It was definitely struck better than the others, probably even slightly toey than slightly heely. It was just to the right of it and it kicked to the left. So let's see. Man, I'm, I'd be, nah, it's not in the hole. So I won't, even, I won't say anything. Right, so that's looking basically back towards the T. Where are we? No, we're not. I'm going to move around here so we can see back towards the T. So that is back towards the T. Um, it must have taken a bit of a sniff. I mean, it did seem to, like I said, kick a little bit left as playing the hole. But um, yeah, it was, it was definitely a decent shot. Definitely a decent shot. This is relatively straight, I think. Back into the wind. Oof. That wind is blustery. Ah. Felt like I shoved it just a just a hair. The speed was great. Yeah, I can't quite see where I've pitched. I feel like it would have been sort of right here, or maybe even on the edge of the green. But I can't see a pitch mark. One there maybe, but not really. Right, another par. Steady as she goes. They're always nice rounds when you can just sort of tap in birdies and tap in pars. Rightio, sixth hole. Uh, yep, sixth hole. Uh, par four straight up the hill. Back into the breeze, but it seems like the breeze has sort of stopped. It's stopped everywhere, actually. Very interesting. Really, really nice hole. So all the greens here, they said, are quite firm, and they um, and they definitely uh, roll good. They roll really, really good. As you can see, guys are up there. Guys back here, they're just putting. So, like I said, busy. It's great to see. So, John, well done. Uh, everyone here at Beerwell, like I said, well done. It's uh, if I was in the area, let's say what you got sort of Woodford here. Maybe you'd sort of even call uh, Calandra, maybe even. Uh, it's a bit far up, but yeah, it's it's certainly one of the better courses in the area. The only thing is, if it does rain a little bit, it does get a little bit on the damp side of things. So, um, you know, that's the only negative, but it's not that bad. Like I said, this is a bit funny. It's shifting around, so I'll definitely have to muck around with that. Um, Probably shouldn't have turned it on, but these guys are still a little bit away. But uh, yeah, as you can see, some of the bunkers, so they're basically getting rid of the bunkers, reshaping them, and uh, they've got an architect out, so they're, they're sort of all doing that, that properly, which, which is fantastic. But pretty much all the greens here are, are raised, so they sort of sit up a little bit and quite firm. And so someone like myself who's got an average short game, uh, you can make some numbers. Uh, basically because you're because I'm hitting it up and I don't have the confidence to hit it high. I generally hit it flatter so it runs on a little bit more. But um, the holes, at least on the front, the back nine's my, my favourite nine here for sure. Uh, I don't know if I should hit. I mean, they're 100 out. 350. I mean, it's... I'll wait, I'll wait for them, just in case. But back into the wind, I sort of doubt that I'll that I'd get it all the way there anyway. And if it did, it's just sort of rolling a little bit. How's everyone been anyway? Comment below, it'd be nice to see how everybody is. We'll make some more videos. Like I said, we still got to draw the uh, RACV Raw Pines, four rounds of golf. So stay tuned for that. But just trying to get a few videos up our sleeves and then we can uh, really, really get back into it. I'm playing Volkswagen Scramble again for Sandy Gallup. For the regional, it's up at uh, it's actually up at City Golf Club, I think. Oh, I've necked it, damn it. Ah, down the right. Hopefully that gets lucky. That was rubbish. That was absolute rubbish. Real bad strike again. Right side of the fairway. Not, look, it, it hit a tree, probably the tree just to the right of the buggy. Uh, it was okay. I mean, it was a very bad strike, so it certainly got lucky. 143. That's the thing about playing here is you certainly have um, you have the opportunity to hit it into a lot of trees. So 143. Back into the wind. I'm going to have to try to keep an 8 a bit on the lower side, I think. Unless I get a bit of a flyer. 
unless I get a little bit of a flyer, this is probably going to be a little on the short side. So the pins up the back, I'm pretty sure. So I'm just going to try to play this one down a little bit more. Oh, not that much. Go ball. Hit the flag. Sit there. <laughs> That's on the back edge. It's a good golf shot, but that is the most rubbish strike today. But maybe one of the best results. Right. So, like I said, the worst shot of the day. Nearly, basically, the, the chip was the best shot of the day. But that's, um, yeah. You win some, you lose some. Like I've literally, I've tried to play it low, and I've hit it low, but I've, but I've knifed it. So, again, sometimes there's luck, sometimes there's uh, unluckiness, but you just got to ride whatever wave you're on, I suppose. That. See, this is where the green's here. There's some plenty of break in some of these, but this looks quite flat to me. And the issue is a straight part is, uh, to me, probably the hardest part because I've never started anything online. And the cups look relatively fresh, so I can't really see any grain. It might sneak to the right just a tad. So I'm going to play at middle left edge. Well, that's where I'm going to line it up. That's actually prob probably on left edge. Just drain it like that. The boys, is, is, is there a... The boys, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Worst shot off the tee, worst second shot, and a birdie. You can show... It shows that the game is... Uh, the game's rigged. Who friggin' knows? Like I said, ride whatever wave you're on. But anyway, uh, seventh hole, par five. So you got seven, eight, nine. So seven, par five, eight, par five, and then nine short, par four. I'll take how I'm playing for now. Beautiful. And don't forget, smash that like button. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're that's what you say, don't you? Oh, that's what they say to say. Hey? I don't know. If you don't like it, don't like it. Hit, hit this like. Who cares? Yep. I don't care. But anyhow, see you then. Beautiful. See you. <laughs>